Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 79, and I bet I'm not where you expected me to be. Uh, different royal city. Um, I'll explain why we're going here in a second. It won't be long. Um, but I want to run over this bridge first just to uh, get my companions to start talking. Don't oh. give me that look, dog. You're about one lifted leg away from becoming a new pair of boots. Oh. Alright, at least I was short. That's good, because, uh. Have some bathing snacks, which are. Yep, thought they would attack us. It's not why we're here, but, um. While we are here. Alright, get some extra XP. Can always use more XP. Only at level 20 still. As you say. That's kind of, um... I mean, I know I haven't been, like, really good at going out of my way to get XP, and I didn't choose that little, like, Codex Ring or Belt or whatever it was. I probably missed a couple side quests here and there. Obviously the Master Ignacio quest I missed. The whole quest line. Still, though, I thought we'd be... I don't know, a little higher than this, because we don't have any more DLC to do. It's just the rest of the main game, which I don't think is five levels worth. Huh. Then you're not supposed to, be able to get to level 25, but I know it's definitely possible, even without cheating. Anyway. Yeah, whatever. I was going to go back and have them do another conversation to entertain you guys while we walk to the deep roads, but at this point we're almost there anyway. Um, so yeah, let's go to the deep roads. doesn't matter where you go. And we won't be there very long. Don't worry. Um, I don't think it matters. Let's go to Keridan's Cross. I could go back and see the anvil again, but I don't think there's anything there. If you side with Bronca, she might still be there working on golems for your army. But um, all right. So apparently, I mentioned this before, but I haven't actually done it at all yet. If you talk to Duncan, do you see anything interesting? An old helmet that may have belonged to a Grey Warden or one of the Legionnaires of the Dead. That's right, because that actually makes a lot of sense that you would find it in the Deep Roads because uh, the Grey Wardens come here to die. So that, yeah, it's actually really cool. I just realized that now. Um, what he found is the Helmet Duty, which is part of the effort armor set, if you've seen me getting pieces of that. I'm not really going to use it for much, but because Ogryn does need a new helmet, I want to see how this looks on him. That is not the right slot. Um, it's alright. The color doesn't really match, though, unfortunately. <laughs> it's kind of silly looking, if I'm being honest. Well, it's glad it's good that we got it, though, because I'm glad we got... Uh, something for Duncan. Let's go here and see if I sold any cool helmets. I know Rockknocker and a couple of the others are back at camp. If we don't find anything good here, we can always do that. It sucks there really aren't that many great helmets in the game. The only good helmets are Rockknocker and the ones that are part of sets. There is one really good helmet we'll get later in the game, but it's really close to the end of the game, so you really can't use it very often. No helmets in here, are there? I don't believe so. Actually, while we're here, though, we can put um, the rock in there. All right, um, the Reaper's Cudgel. I wonder if I should keep that with me. Lyrium Dust, I'm going to take that, actually. Because we're not at the point of no return yet. We still have a couple missions to go, but we will get there sooner or later. Anything I want to take with me. Should I take my apprentice robes? Um, don't want any of these stupid gifts. Well, we'll come back here later anyway, so... Unless we forget. But I will grab that. Well, can you even import that? It's worth trying. I don't know. We'll grab it anyway, and... Nah. No sentimental stuff. Anyway, um, let's see if we can buy a helmet from Levi. Not... Do you see the interesting dog? Hey, he gets me an item. Probably nothing good from here, but still. What can I do? Certainly. All right. What kind of helmets does Levy have? Not good ones. Huh. Does it, maybe, does this guy sell regular armor over here? Yeah, he's a store. All right, that's probably why. He has all the good armor. Warden. Blunt to the point. I like that. All right, so this is a uh, great warden helmet. Some nice helmet choices by the looks of it. 
Um, you know what? I'm going to do a quick save, though, because I don't want to spend part of my gold in this and then not like it. Warden. If I'm being honest, I really want it just to look cool. Oh, I hit... Warden. There we go. Um, medium, light, gray warden helmet, or massive. Let's go with the heavy one. Seven gold, though. Might as well just buy the rock knocker. Let's see what it looks like, though. Just one. One's more than enough. It's just for a companion, after all. How many legions will we have before? Um, that looks all right, actually. Different coloration, I guess. But on the whole, not too bad. Mm, you know what? Screw it. Even though it looks good, um, Rock Knocker has better stats because the physical resistance is pretty nice, especially if this guy's going to be standing in my uh, blizzards and all, and earthquakes. And it also is cheaper. So, two out of three criteria. Let's just go back to camp and get the Rock Knocker. Sorry for the detour, but at least I showed you where to get duty in case you're looking for that and can't find it anywhere and don't know how to use Google, I guess. All right. To camp one more time, and then we'll head to the Arl of Denerim's estate and rescue Queen Enora. That sounds fun, yes? Um, Alistair actually, I think, wishes to speak to me, so while we're here. You know, I've been thinking. Um, <laughs> such a rare event is worth reminding me of, sure. Um, I'm going to say that just to make fun of him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Funny, I'm sure. Just listen for a minute. Back when we left Goldanas, you told me I needed to look out for myself more than I do. I'm beginning to think you were right. I need to stop letting everyone else make my decisions for me. I need to take a stand and think about myself for a change. Or I'm I can never agree going with that. Happy. I can definitely agree with that. That's not as... Like, selfishness has a value to a degree, as long as you don't take it too far. Um... So yeah, if you uh, if you say that one, it doesn't harden him. This one sounds like it won't, but I guess it does. But um, I don't like any of these choices, honestly. So long as you listen to me, it sounds fine. I'm, that's like, that's not what a friend would say. That's not what I meant. Don't do that. Definitely don't like that one. Don't let me influence you, Alistair. And it's about time. I say, I'm gonna say it's about time. It's kind of a little mean, but yeah, he's gonna be king. He needs to develop a thick skin. Then from this point on, I'll be looking out for myself more. I should have done this a long time ago. I just wanted to thank you. You've been a great friend through all of this. The one bright spot in everything that's happened. Good, character development, I like that. I guess that's kind of why they want you to harden them, is in some form it is character development. Although, for Liliana at least, either choice is character, de character development, whereas for this one, it really makes more sense to harden Alistair, which is a shame because Liliana is, it's easier to find the choices for hardening her than it is for him. Like, if you're not looking for them, it's, uh, you can easily miss it, as I did in my very first playthrough. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the theme of this conversation. Don't thank me, thank yourself, Alistair. Let's go. We've got a lot left to do. But yeah, I like the idea that he's standing up for himself now more, and he's, uh, Helm still doesn't really quite match, but that's okay. And, uh, Willing to look out for his own interests as well as those of his future people. You and your friends are formidable. I'm sure you'll be pleased. All right. So he has lots of helmets I've been serving, giving to him over the ages. Um, these these aren't bad. Plus one armor, plus ten mental resistance. Templar helm isn't actually usable only by Templars. That's kind of unique. Um, but let's just go with rock knocker. Oh, it's actually more expensive. So it's not two out of three. Wow, I thought... Alright, another quick save then. You and your friends are formidable folk. I'm sure... I guess I shouldn't have, shouldn't have sold this. Uh, I hate admitting my mistakes, but yeah. Blood Dragon Helmet's not bad either. I just don't know how it looks on Ogryn. You know what, let's try them both. And then we'll reload it and see which one we like. And uh, just buy which one we like best then. We can even buy... Might as well buy all of them if we're going to do that. Enchantment? No, this one. Oh, certainly. All right, what are our other choices here? Proving helm. It's too bad it's only tier one, because uh, otherwise I might go for it. Juggernaut, Knight Commander, Templar. All right, and we'll just go through all of them and see which one looks best with uh, 
Wade Superior Heavy Dragon Scale Armor Set. How many legions than we had before? Duty is that guy. It's too silver, unfortunately. Juggernaut Helm, no way. That's like Alistair's kind of, but doesn't fit at all. Knight Commander's Helm. That one's okay, I guess. Templar Helm. Templar's the same thing. And the Knight Commander's Helm is better. Well, they're not actually the same thing, but they're very close. Rock Knocker. There we go. That one fits. Should have bought that one in the first place. And just for comparison, Blood Dragon. Yeah. Remember, we had, if you watched my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play, uh, we had the Blood Dragon armor set there. I think we did in 3 as well. I know it's available in 3. But yeah, Rock Knocker. It's a little expensive, but it definitely it looks better than the one we bought at the, uh, the camp, if I'm being honest. All right, so sorry for making you guys sit through this. Um, but yeah. We'll almost be ready to get on with the main plot. Let me just buy this helmet. <laughs> 11 and a half minutes of waiting, but that's okay. And as soon as we buy Rock Knocker, which I never should have sold in the first place. Eight gold, though. God, that's expensive. Hopefully we find lots more gold in the next upcoming quests. Why is it taking so long to load? No, thank you. You and your friends are formidable. Getting really quick at hitting that escape one escape. Um, all right, rock knocker, sweet. We can actually sell the helmet of legion. If there's any, I'm sure. Get some of our money back. And I know we had like a solve or something too. I wanted to sell. All right, good enough. Before we do the uh, the final arc of the game, I am going to make some more potions too. I made some more earlier, an episode I think ago, but uh, we'll need more than that for the final bout. We can sell that too, actually. While I'm here. All right, you guys ready to go? 97 gold. We're getting there. Back to uh, rescue Queen Anora, because I know I am. Put this off long enough. All right, so let's take Alistair. I feel like that'd yes. be good. Zevran, because yes. we need a rogue, and Ogryn. Uh, now that he has his cool gear, I will not use Ogryn some since we got him pretty late in the game. Um, goes without saying, you can go to Orzammar first if you want, if you want to get Ogryn as a companion early on. And that's one of um, the things I did in my earlier playthroughs, was kind of plan out my, my regular party and then design my quest chain around that. I remember actually... Uh, like going around in class and uh, or sitting in class like not listening to the professors and instead planning out my playthroughs in Dragon Age. Um, we might actually be able to get Sir Coldry's next quest or Slim Coldry rather. Fighting the good fight. Eh? Have a mark for me. One more swipe and no one will ever forget it. I guarantee you'll love it. Six sovereigns. Let's do it. Ten low gain is out in the field. I figure you'd like to get back at him, right? Word is that his seneschal has been getting the Tan's crown all nice and sparkly for the landsmeet. The seneschal is taking a bit of a rest at the Nord Noble Tavern. He won't be there long. He has a heavy guard. But if you can make off with the tyrant's own crown, think of the embarrassment. That's all I know. I hope it's enough. That is a pretty cool quest. Um, worth the investment, I'm sure. And it would look pretty bad for Logan as well. Uh, if he lost his crown. It's weird that the region has a crown. I guess it's I guess it's his crown as a Terran, since they are second only to the king. Um, but yeah, obviously it's why you can only do that one once the landsmeet starts. It part of the You're plot is related bit. to the landsmeet. No luck yet, eh? Keep trying. Any good places to break in? I'm following up a lead in the palace district. I know you can't get in now, but you never know. If it all works out, it'll make you a legend. All right, so this is the same thing. We actually can go to the palace district. Because we can go to the Arl Denimrim's estate. Although I guess that's not really... I guess the palace district is more over here. I don't think you spend too much time there, though. But, um, alright. So, I'm going to make a liar out of myself. Sorry, guys. Um, and we're going to do this first. Not noble. So quick save. While we're here, we might as well. All right. Um, see Wolf's face when he arrived. I heard West Hills has fallen to Darkspawn. Your lands are in the south. Surely you've seen the blight yourself. Hardly. You know very well I've been in Denerim these past two years. Rosalind's health requires us to be in town. You understand? <clears throat> yes, I had heard that. 
I love that once the land meet starts, you can actually find the nobles here in the tavern talking about things. Like Arl Wolf. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation too. Boy, take your petition to the Darkspawn if it's so important to you. They hold my Arling now. I hear they're charitable folk. Oh. I didn't know the West Hold had fallen. I'm sorry. Well, I can see how you might miss it. All of southern Ferelden covered by black clouds, the ground rotting beneath your feet, plagues and dark spawn raids going on until even he the is not wearing pants. Sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little <laughs> trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerim? There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I've nothing for you anyway. I guess he really has given up on life. <laughs> And Arl not even wearing pants anymore. All right, let's talk to Ban Sigard. I have no time to deal with supplicants. Alrighty then. How about Ban Siorlik? Did you see Wolf's face when he arrived? I heard West Hills has fallen to Darkspawn. It's like the world map. I haven't looked at it in a while. Oh yeah, if you look at it for a while. Whoa. I haven't looked at it except for the travel screen. Look at that though. The blade is covering most of Ferelden at this point. The Dark Spawn are almost at Denerim, even. They haven't attacked most of the towns, I imagine. But, uh... Yeah, things aren't looking good. The entire Benorin is falling. And Hentulins have long fallen. Your lands are in the south. Surely you've seen the Blight yourself. Hardly. You know very well I've been in Denerim these past That's right, years. okay. Oh, here's more bands. Is playing at. Surely he doesn't expect us to believe Anora unfit to rule with her father to advise her. I wonder that myself. His timing is unfortunate. South Reach is overrun. I have little time to devote to politics at present. Overrun? Has the blight truly spread so far? Most of my freeholders have fled to Redcliffe and Lothering, but I doubt they'll be safe there for long. Not in Lothering. <laughs> His breath. Ryland, I had no idea. Be careful how loudly you speak of it. Wolf lost both his boys to Darkspawn, trying to evacuate Jeez. West Hills. Lady Andraste, pray for us. Uh, Wolf is the guy over there. Um, that's gotta be just like a writing typo, because unless they took back Lothering, but uh, that'd be a cool like DLC, taking back Lothering. Um, maybe a fan mod somebody could make fairly easily, I'd imagine. Um... But yeah, that uh, that seems weird that they would retreat to Lothering when Lothering... By the time you do the Lance Meet, Lothering has long fallen. I think as soon as you do one of the four main quests, it falls. I can't actually... Oh yeah, I can. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged at present. I'm sorry. I'm busy at the moment. Alright. Um, unfortunately, do you have stealing? He does not. And I can't change party members. That's annoying. Um, alright. We're gonna need Liliana, and I really wish I could change my party, but I can't. I guess I could, I could go to the, the Earl's estate and then come back out again. Let's do that. Alright. Sorry if this is a boring episode. It'll get really exciting from here on out, I promise. And once again, Denerim's taking forever to load. What is with this place? Every time I load Denerim, it's like taking longer. I don't even get a cool little thing to read at the top like they have sometimes. But yeah, um, so yeah, we're going to get Liliana, do the stealing quest. We've talked to all the Earls already, so that's, that'll probably be it for this episode, and then we'll actually go to the, the Earl of Denerim's estate and rescue Anora in the next one. Seriously, game? I haven't started restarted the game in a while, but is there like a memory leak or something? Like, what is... What on earth is causing this? It's been a good 30 seconds. I might have to restart the game between episodes. This is getting ridiculous. I'm about ready to have it crash on me now. And I'm running out of things to say, and the music has stopped. We'll give it a couple more seconds, otherwise I might have to force crash the game. And that'll be a first. Hey, we made it! God, that took forever. Okay, um, sorry about that. So... If that, uh, hap- craft. Hi, Gorin. Fine, dwarven craft. If that happens again, going to, the, to or from the estate, I'm going to go back and clip it in the episode, so you guys don't have to wait for all of it. Instead of just listening to me blabber through it.
At least we have a loading screen this time. There we go. All right, heading back out. Liana. Severin. Yes. Yes. We'll probably put Liliana back before going to the estate, but um, I can do that between episodes. All right. See, that wasn't so bad. Why was it? <sighs> Who knows? Who freaking knows? While we're here, we could probably buy some more potion ingredients too. I just don't want to spend that much money on them when I could be using that money for other things. All right. Luckily, Logan Guard Captain is still there. Hi. Oh, she has a different thing when you romance her, I guess. That's cool. Nobody goes in the room by authority of Tan Logan. Sorry to bother you. No bother. Did Nobody goes I, thank you. I got it. No bother. Put them on hold. I guess because they're all running around. Now, actually, you know what? I'm going to get everybody to come Nobody over here. Goes in the room by authority of Tan this is really annoying. My entire companions are triggering it. All right, they're all out here. Finally. Now with stealth, she should be able to get by, right? Nobody goes in the room by authority of Tan Logan. Um, can attack him. I have an urgent message for this initial. You? Why, yes, yes. Come on in. Follow the guard. Of course, Seneschal, stand back. Men, kill the warden. Uh oh. Is there a way around that? Let's try it again. I did make extra saves around Gax Clan in case I want to come back and try that, uh. Try, like, soloing him or try that Mana Clash trick I was talking about before. You may have noticed. Oh, come on. It's gonna take forever to load again? Seriously? <sighs> Let's see if I can read this while we go. Our Erlina, Queen Honora's maidservant, has come to you and Earl Eamon for help. Hey, there we go. All right. Zevran has better stealth skills. If anyone can get paid, right, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure he does, yeah. All right, solo mode, stealth. If he can't get by, then there's just no way to do this in stealth. Nobody goes no, in there's the room not. By authority of Tan Logan. I'm going to say intimidate then. Stand aside or be thrown aside. I'll take none of... Sweet Andraste. Um. I feel like this one should work, but uh, I'll say this one. Leave now or I'll kill you where you stand. Thank you. Men, run. Run for your lives. I say, Smart what's man. This? Um. Yeah, we have all this persuade skill. Might as well use it. Hand over the crown, I'll let you live. Guards, come back, come. I, uh, here. Please spare me. All right. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. I kind of wanted to actually use, you know, stealth and pickpocketing. But, um, yeah. Using persuade for a change. Can we actually pickpocket him anyway? Hopefully you got more XP for doing it that way, because, uh, Yay, what else do we get? Ooh, you can get two copies of the crown if you do it each way. That's kind of cheating, but... You know what, this quest was so annoying... I don't even care. Um, he didn't actually run away, he's just standing there. I'm gonna steal from him too, then. Yay. This soldier is also an elite, so he might have good stuff. Nothing to steal. Ah, uh, well. I can steal from the bands, probably. He wasn't nice to me. I feel bad stealing from a guy who's lost his entire, his entire Arling, but... It's for the greater good. Alright. So, let's go back to Slim, Slim Coldry now. Um, please, no long loading screen. Please. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go... Buy a couple more potions ingredients. What can I get you, stranger? 
Have you heard any rumors? Of all the strange news, everyone is talking about some brother in Denerim claiming that the urn of sacred ashes has been found. Actually found. I understand the Chantry is a bit skeptical and probably won't get a chance to deal with the brother's claim until after the war has ended, but it's incredible even so, don't you think? Anything else you need? Let me see what you have. Right, I'll show you around. Alright, so... We need... Um, some flasks. Got a ton of them. And a few distillation agents for some more mana potions. Let's do two gold worth. And then what can we make with these? Aerium potions. Some double baked Mabari crunch. And uh, lesser Lyrium potions. I'm going to make up to 99 of these. Well, let's make 90 in case I find some of his loot. All right, there we go. Now back to Slim Coldry. Because I figure we can pretty much chug Lesser Lyrian Potions all day. And they're well more than half as good as full ones. Although at this point, um, we have so much spell power. Hey, see that time it, it must have been a glitch, I guess. I don't know what that was about. It just it took forever. Dwarven crafts. Find Dwarven crafts. Much better now. Um, wonder how much the crown will sell for. And I have two of them. But maybe the, the Terran probably has a backup crown, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make... That makes that makes a decent amount of sense, I think. She would have two in case one gets... The Terran's crown. Needs to be clean. Oh, that's rich. You have to admit, that was worth every copper you paid me, eh? They're calling you the Dark Wolf. What do you think of that? <laughs> Too bad no one can know. You could get a lot of action. There's nothing more I can offer you like that. Anything else you fancy? No more marks, right? There's no way you can top that last heist wolf. You're a legend. The nobles are still afraid to come out of their manners. <laughs> I have one last job. A legendary one. Oh, a paltry ten sovereigns is my take. Aha, so you have to do that one first to unlock this, I guess. Which is weird, because I thought they were separate quest lines. Maybe if, you, maybe if you haven't done any of the pickpocketing quest line, just the stealth one, it'll give it to you anyway. All right, ten sovereigns, let's do it. Ban Frandero is one of the richest men in the entire kingdom. At his grand ball next week, he's displaying some of his priceless treasures. Paintings of old masters, the armaments of the first king of Denerim, and more. Oh, more. Mages have put up magical wards, but I've got a route that will bypass that. Once inside, I've no idea how you'll deal with the guards, but if you do, you'll be rich and infamous. I can't wait to see what people say. Alrighty, so we have another quest. Um... However, see, I don't know how long this is going to take. I wish I knew. Um, let's go ahead and end this episode here. And when we come back, we will uh, do the heist of the century. And uh, hopefully it goes well. I'll see you guys then.